Mallory and Erica. It's K Crafts with Mallory. It's Wednesday, and we are here again to make another nifty gift. An easy. Well, this looks like a lot. This looks like. What are we doing? We're gonna make some um, wash wash bombs, essentially wash. for the wash machine. Oh. Okay, like a stain, like a Tide Pod stain remover type thing. Okay, I need this. Having toddlers and whatnot, I, I do need this. Yes. So the first thing I normally do is, um, if you've heard of Thalnaspa soap, it comes in a bar. And I didn't want to bring my food processor, so I stuck it in the microwave. You can actually see the word Thalnaspa on there because it didn't blow up right there. <laughs> I don't know if you can get it. But, um, so we're going to crumble the soap. So, Mallory, okay. it's easy. You're just going to crumble that soap up. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah, I mean light. And... And once it's crumbled, we can dump it in the bucket. While she's crumbling, I'm going to add three cups of, um, this is washing soda. You get it in the cleaning aisle. Um, How much is that? Three cups. I measured it out because I buy everything in bulk. I have five kids. It's a necessity. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to add some Epsom salt. Mm, and I'm going to do six tablespoons of Epsom salt. Kind of fun over here. I know I gave you Three. Normally I put it in my food processor and it obliterates it. But so this is way more fun. Yeah. Six things to add to the salt tablespoon. What are you going to use for smelling these? Um, I use, le we're going to use lemon because lemon is a good stain booster and I'll probably use some purification too because I love purification. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. good. It's like a fresh, clean scent. Mm -hmm. Like your laundry should smell. Yeah. Wait, All of it? Yep. And then stir it up. Can you smell it or no? How much soap was that? One bar. One little, it comes in little bars. You buy mm -hmm. it in the laundry aisle, in the soap aisle. Oh, really? So when you microwave that, then it, it kind of... It literally explodes like okay. a cloud. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it takes about two minutes in the microwave, roughly. And you use a well, food processor, you said? I usually use a food processor if I'm being super duper lazy. Okay. All right. Oh, right. We're going to add six tablespoons of peroxide. Peroxide is an awesome booster and a whitening. And it gets blood out of clothes, just so you know. If you have little boys that like to scrape their knees. I was going to ask you how you, uh, how you knew that. Yep, perfect. I'll try that. Stir it up. And then we need vinegar. Oh, we're using vinegar again? Half a cup of vinegar. It makes it like a paste. Oh my god, look at that! Isn't it fun? Apple cider vinegar, uh, I do make stuff with apple cider vinegar too. And I'm going to throw some lemon in here while you're doing this. I'm going to do 10 drops of lemon. No, okay, okay. Oh, that lemon smells good. And then I'm going to put a couple drops of purification. This is all natural smell. ingredients, no chemicals. Chemical free as you can get. To clean your clothes. Mm-hmm. So, if you're lazy like me, Hand me, you can leave it in the jar and just scoop it as you need it. Okay. Um, or, if you want to be cute about it and make it as a gift, you can take, just like you did bath bombs, and that, you made bath bombs, right? Yeah. Okay. Not sure if you, um, I use oh. a cookie scoop because I'm really, I'm super lazy when it comes to being lazy, and you would just pack it and drop it on wet paper. And then you have to let them dry. So I personally scoop and drop, scoop and drop. Um, and then let and you would just put one in or grab a couple one in and drop it in. Really? Tide pod, kind of. So, but I'm super lazy, so I just leave it in the thing. And you just do a scoop and throw it in there. Yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for another K Craft with Mallory and Erica.